A big game for you last week. Uh, you feel like it's starting to get a little bit faster for you week to week? Or actually, excuse me, a little bit slower for you week to week. Yeah, I wouldn't say big game. I did my job. But, um, but I mean, at this point um, in my career, you know, it's just going out and um, just trying to trying to make plays, you know. I mean, really, I feel really comfortable out there. You know, I know everybody is kind of stuck on last year and, you know, my lows and everything like that. But, um, you know, I'm just focused on, uh, you know, being the best in my position. And, you know, I have a lot of uh, growth, um, you know, to get there. But, um, you know, I feel like I'm making the right strides. And, um, you know, I think it's nothing but good things ahead. You played in big games, college and pro, but never nothing like this, Monday Night Football. What's it going to be like in a couple of nights? From what I've heard, it's going to be um, very, very hyped up. Uh, it's going to be a lot of cameras. Obviously, it's going to be really exciting being the only game on that day. And so that's going to be fun, you know, all eyes on you. Um, but outside of that, it's really just a regular game. You know, I think we just kind of look at it from that perspective. Obviously, it's we're really grateful to play on Monday night and have that primetime game. But at the same time, still uh, another football game. Last one from me. Uh, it's a really big day in the town. 30 years ago, the franchise was announced. I know us at the radio station are really having a big time with it. Are you even aware of it? And if so, did anything come up today? I, I know this is only your second year in the league. That was the first time I heard that. I, did. I wasn't aware of that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, amazing. And, yeah, we are still such a um, young franchise. But, um, you know, I love our fans and uh, the growth that, you know, I've seen just over the last year and a half that I've been here. And, um, you know, I'm sure it's a special day for a lot of people who have been season ticket holders since, you know, game one and guys who have been waiting for, you know, Jaguars to come to the city. So, um, you know, I think it should be celebrated as a big day. Thanks, Devin. Yeah, thank you. Devin, I, don't, I don't think I got to ask you after the game, but I know a couple of these guys said, I was like, can you admit this is like the most tired you have felt after a game this year? Because I know a couple of you guys walking into the tunnel, it just looked like you guys, like you were happy with the win, but you guys were exhausted. I think that was the DBs just because they were running all day. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure they were tired. I was gassed a little bit, but. You know, probably not as much as them, um, just based on the scrambling ability of CJ. And, you know, I mean, those guys were out there plastering for hours. So. Yeah, now that you've watched the tape back, I mean, it felt like up in the press box he had eight, nine seconds at times, and they still covered. You guys are in the middle of the field. How would you evaluate how you guys contained him? Um, relatively well. I mean, we got four sacks, I believe. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, we don't want to plaster that long. You know, we want to be able to get him down but you know that's really you know when you're playing somebody who's uh who has the escapability like he does you know it's tough you know it's easier said than done um but at the end of the day you know we won the game we did enough to win the game um and you know we had great efforts up front and in the back end i mean you know from guys covering to you know rushing the passer um i mean we did what it took to win Different type of quarterback that you probably don't have a ton of tape on, although I guess Jake Browning did play at Washington. Did you guys overlap at all, Pac-12? Or We did, we did. We played in the Pac-12 championship. That was my redshirt freshman year. Yeah, they won a close one, unfortunately. But, um, but yeah, I've been knowing about him, and, um, you know, he's a good player, and I think, you know, he's doing a good job over there. So, um, you know, we'll be ready. Obviously, you know, for him this is only a second start, but there are receivers, a known commodity. How do you account for that many guys? Yeah, their uh, receiving core is really deep. Uh, they got a lot of players. Um, even their running back and their running game, you know, is a threat as well. Um, so they're a really balanced offense. And, you know, just because the quarterback's out, you know, they're still going to be uh, an efficient offense. So we have to do everything we can to eliminate, uh, limit their production and, uh, you know, play sound defense. Last one for me. You already have your uh, call, my cause, my cleats on. So what do we do? Yes, USO. Um, where are they at? But, um, yeah, there they go. USO, I think they did a great job making these. And um, the only nonprofit organization that gives back to uh, military families and um, anything related to military. And so, you know, I, I just felt like that was a you know, good one to go with. Did you directly have any impact growing up in a military family by USO? Um, well, no, because my, my dad was always in the military. I mean, both of them, you know, did really well in the military, I'll say that. So, you know, thankfully. But, um, you know, this is still, I think they do a great job. So.